Have you ever heard of a free board? Well, you probably do, or otherwise you wouldn't have been clicking on this video. But if you don't, and you have no idea what you're doing here, a freeboard is kind of like a longboard. The only difference is, it has an extra set of wheels in the middle that can turn in any direction, which makes it possible to glide and slide across the pavement like you would on a snowboard. The only problem is, these things are hard to find. In Belgium, I have no idea where I could get one, and even if I could find one, it would cost me $220, which is a little expensive for my taste. So this got me thinking. Could I make one? Well, of course you can, how hard can it be? What do I need to make one? Four longboard wheels. You slide wheels with the rounded edges. If your wheels look like this, they aren't made slide, so don't use them. Two wheels I took from a scooter or an inline skate. I have no clue where they come from, but they work fine. Two enormous riser pads. Bunch of bolts, bunch of nuts, bunch of washers. These things, which I have no idea what to call, but they're like nuts which you can uh, hit into wood with a pins. These are gonna be my center trucks. Um, I just picked these up in a hardware store for like five euros a piece, I think. And I think they're gonna work fine. They're used to move couches and stuff, so yeah, I think it will hold. I'm also going to use the trucks of this mountain board, the trucks of this mountain board, and probably the bearings too. Last but not least, I've cut out this board. It has kind of like the shape of an original freeboard. Mine is 85 centimeters long, 23 centimeters wide, and I've put the holes for the trucks as far to the outside as I uh, as I was still trusting it. And well, you actually gotta see where you've got to put these because they, yeah, I, I just like to put them as far on the outside as I possibly can, but they cannot touch the trucks from your longboard wheel. So yeah, good luck with that. And that's all. How do I actually make one? How I actually made it is hard to explain. So here's a short time lapse showing you me building the board. guys my final result I think it looks amazing and it only cost me about 40 or 50 bucks which is well incredible um, I can't wait to try this out check out my next video in a few weeks or I have no idea when I'm gonna try this out it seems to be the most fun when it's raining so I'll have to wait for the rain to start and then you will get a video of me trying to ride this thing bye